Okay, so Ron Paul's silence on the issue. I want to talk about this because I think everybody's real concerned about it. I don't see it as that much of a concern. I know sometimes when I was a kid and I've done some things that my dad didn't approve of, he would have probably had nothing to say about it. So let's look at it from a Ron Paul's perspective. I've got nothing to say. Nothing to say. You know, Ran does his thing, whatever. He's still introducing, you know, bills that are, you know, they have some libertarian stance and they're very important bills and that's fine. Whatever Rand does, Rand does. I'm not worried about Rand. He's doing his thing, but he's better than most. But that's not even the point of the, the conversation. What I want to say is Ron's silence, though deafening to us, I think it's more deafening to Rand than it is us. Because the way I look at it is, you know, he's not saying anything about it. Because what can he say? At this point, anything he says is not going to be good for, you know, the, the, the love illusion. It's not going to be good. So if he keeps quiet, and if we just go on with the love illusion, everything's going to be all right. And uh, Rand can do whatever the hell he wants to do, you know. He's made his bed, now he's got to lie in it. That's the way I look at it. But Ron hasn't, and I don't think he's going to. And that's about all I have to say about that.